Breaking news, my wonderful people. See exactly what is going on right here and now. You know, our very own brother, uh, Malaji Atikwa Bubaka, went to um, get the attention of Babangida to come on board to be able to talk to the governors who are not on his side. We're talking about Sheyema Kende, we're talking about Otom uh, Wiki and others. You know to sp speak to them for them to see reason reasoning to join him however the the place still stand in the sense that they're asking what do you want from us we say that the pdp national chairman should resign so that pdp does not look like a northern party that's all we are asking follow the law and order follow things the way they should be However, he has not obeyed and he wants them to stay with him. This is what is happening. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Atiku told it's too late for reconciliation with G5. PDP governors tells him. Osita Okechuku okay, has said that Atiku... Alaji Atiku Abubaka moved to reconcile with Governor Yeson Wike and his group in the People Democratic Party is belated. The Director General of Voice of Nigeria said this when he responds to a statement by Atiku and the ruling All Progressive Congress was a tribute to Bola Ahmed Tinubu Action Congress of Nigeria and the party Major General Muhammad Buhari Party, the Congress for Progressive Change, which according to him would collapse after his defeat in 2023 general election, and that he would reconcile with G5 and his, and his group. In a statement in Abuja titled that Tiko attempts to reconcile with Wike G5, is berated by head wines the apc chief team described the the assessment made by the former vice president as hilarious medicine after death when he refused to he listen to them when he should according to him it was ridiculous for the presidential candidate of the people democratic party to think that the prank of justice of rotational convention made on PDP constitution and the federal character principle of the 1999 constitution will be easily swept under, swept under the carpet. Referring to the recent meeting of the G5 with Bauchi state governor, Balam Mohammed Okechuku posted that the letter Balam wrote to Atiku weeks questioned the integrity of the former vice president saying you are not a serious individual how can he wage a proxy political war against the bauchi state governor news flitter that articles question the terrain not to step down like other like governor aminio Otabowa. This is one of the headlines in which we have made reconciliation impossible, as they can see that some persons are working with Atiko. So this is what is happening. My wonderful people, you can see for yourself that the matter is becoming a very serious one. And everyone is rising up to the occasion saying, you know, we, we don't want you. Okay, we don't want you to continue in this, in this, same, in this same vein. We want change and we want it now. We all know exactly what is going on. We all know that there is serious call for concern. We all know that, you know, you know, things are beginning to change. It does not look like, you know, anything could possibly, you know, come out and become the truth. Okay. This is why every one of us, okay, every one of us must rise up and do not allow the same people over and over again to keep us in the same position. Every one of them, every one of us know who we are. We know that these people, these persons are working for themselves. You know, I know, we know. Why do we allow them to continue? Why do we allow them to, to, to go on and to carry on as if everything is all right? We know that there is something seriously not right in our political terrain. 
Okay, we know that there's something seriously not right. Atiku wants reconciliation, but what at what cost? Okay, at what cost does he want this reconciliation? What exactly is going on? What exactly is going on? You know, why Wiki is getting on Atiku is because Atiku himself has refused to do what is right. Atiku himself, if he had gone on and has ensured, yeah, that you know he obeys the party constitution, what they have written down. I tell you sincerely, nobody, I repeat with the emphasis on none, will be able to will be able to hold him down, you know, or pin him to one extent. Nobody. Nobody will be able to pin him to an extent. Nobody. Nobody will be able to pin him down. So you see, it is a question of where are we? Where are we headed? And why have we allowed things to go to go on this far? What can we do? Okay. What can we do? And how can we make sure that, you know, the change we have a in really come forth? Every one of us must rise up. Every one of us must rise up and ensure that we do not allow, you know, the people who have kept us for far too long to continue to hold us down. The nation and the people and all that is going on are all part of, you know, all part of why every one of us must ensure that we bring Nigeria, you know, to, 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 to ensure that we, we bring the country into the position where truth, orderliness can become our watchword. If you go to advanced countries and you see people even boarding as, as, as little as a train, you don't need to know anybody. You go there, you buy your train ticket, you come back in, you, you board a train and you get to your destination. There is a job advert, you apply, you get a job, you know, you don't need to know anybody. You go through the whole system, you qualify, you, you get it, and that's it. And that's it, you know. However, in Nigeria today, you have to know somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody. You know, it, it's terrible. It's a terrible how far we've gone. It's terrible. So this is, this is what we need to do. This is how we all need to, you know, rise up to the occasion and ensure that we do not allow the same thing over and over again. Every one of us must rise up. Every one of us must do all we possibly can and bring Nigeria out of the present predicament. The days upon us have come to show to us, okay? I've come to show to us that every one of us must do all we can and bring Nigeria to where it ought to be. Please, let's not go there and pretend, okay, that all is well. The nation has been, you know, has been in a turmoil. And that's because of bad leadership. You're thinking of changing the Naira. How does it affect productivity and progress? Bye for now.